On today's show, we'll get a look at what goes into marching band's chaotic fall season and highlight Reedy's 10th year of being open. These stories and more on this edition of Open Den. Happy fall, Lions, and welcome back to Open Den. I'm Noah Anderson. And I'm Matthew Hyun. This year marks Reedy's 10th birthday. But how much has changed since then? Here's Alex with more. Since the year 2015, Rick Reedy High School has been a staple of the Frisco community, prospering thousands of students from all walks of life. In the year 2024, Reedy High School is celebrating its 10th year anniversary. Let's dig into the people who have made this place great over time. So what is your favorite part about being a teacher here at Reedy? The students um, and the coaching. I get to um, impact their lives and just grow a relationship with the students in that sense. Just get into work with kids. I, I prefer working with kids a lot better than working with adults. So it's a lot more fun. You guys still have an excuse for your bad choices. Adults don't have an excuse for their bad choices. I just, I've always gotten a sense here that, that students are uh, ready and willing to, to learn. I know that sounds cheesy, but as a teacher, that's like the most important thing, right? So um, yeah, always been happy with that. We have a lot of great kids. Um, We've got a lot of personality, but we don't have a lot of discipline issues, and they care about their grades. So I get kids who want to be in the class, and they have a passion for the content, and they love asking questions, and they always want to make sure that they are understanding what to do, and it lets me have a lot of these conversations uh, about a topic that I am also interested in. Finding out that what I've said or done in the classroom goes beyond it. Um, I like getting uh, messages three years after a student has graduated telling me that like something I said at the front of the room has helped them become a better person. Like the long lasting impact of what I do, that's incredible. That makes me feel good and that's my favorite part. So you were originally a student here, now a teacher. So what's that experience been like for you? Uh, it's been super surreal. There's been some moments where I'm like, I still feel like I'm in high school walking the halls and like seeing the lockers where I used to pass by every day. But um, it's been super fun seeing some teachers that, you know, I had back in school um, and being able to learn from them and use them as mentors. It's different being on the other side of things and seeing uh, like a teacher versus student. Um, but I've really loved coming back to this community. Um, it's a some of the teachers that I had or knew are still here, so it's really cool to get to see them and talk to them um, and just kind of be back home. So what's your perspective on the future of Reedy High School for students and teachers? It's, it's going to be determined by whatever happens with AI and technology. Uh, obviously, like we had our big internet outage last week or two weeks ago, and that was, a, that was kind of a disaster. You know, when you lean too much on a Wi-Fi connection, that's going to be fascinating. Since the school is so young, it has a lot of room to grow. And I think that as the time goes on, that there will be maybe a lot of traditions being established here at Reedy and maybe even more of a academic uh, rigor where the students are even more driven, combined with more traditions and hopefully just more school culture. So you've been here a while, a long time. How long have you been here exactly? I've been at Reedy since it opened, so 10 years. So, in all your years here, what would you say is the craziest experience that you've had? You know, uh, some funny, wild, a little bit. Two or three years ago, there was like a, not a fire drill, but an actual like fire alarm. But I think it was raining that day, so we were stuck out in the rain for like 20 or 30 minutes, it felt like. Um, the kids were all wet, and the teachers were able to kind of huddle under the roof. So, I mean, we felt a little guilty, but it's just... Yeah. I'd have to say my first year here, we were uh, last game of the season, and we were down. We weren't intended to win, and so there's a picture of Mr. Z and another AP and I holding our face, and we are so worried we weren't going to win, and we blocked a punt, which gave us the ball back, and we ended up winning the game, and that was probably one of the most exciting football games I've been at in a high school experience. Um, very much by surprise, but uh, very appreciated as being named Teacher of the Year for 2023-2024. Definitely winning district this past year in girls basketball and going three rounds deep. Um, it was, it's super surreal because I wasn't able to do that like as a player. Um, we only made it to first round of playoffs, so being a part of the team and helping them um, lead them to the third round was super fun to be a part of. Being a member of the Reedy High School community seems to be a very special and educational experience. We are all excited for Reedy High School for the future years to come. 
The Reedy Marching Band is looking to advance to state. Let's see what goes into preparing for contests. Here's VJ with more. Happy fall, Lions! Marching Band is already in full swing for the year and their season has been filled with many accomplishments. One of their recent ones is becoming the grand champions of the Denton Golden Triangle. The question that everybody has now is, what are they aiming for next and how will they do it? Well, it started a long time ago. Uh, we started in the summer and even before that, uh, six, eight months before that, we started actually planning the show for this year. But everybody gets together kind of mid to late uh, July, and that's when we start learning to march again. For those of us that are new, learning, learning to march for the first time. And we did a lot of choreo uh, this summer that the kids have to actually do uh, responsibilities with and music, um, and it, it all starts in July. So our band director, Mr. Warder, he makes us practice every morning at 7 a.m. on the parking lot. Um, and every band class, we put in a lot of effort and we do a lot of reps. So we always are practicing and putting our max amount of effort in. And Mr. Hoyer always stresses that we need to practice and that we need to be at these rehearsals. Well, we do some local competitions first. This year we did the Golden Triangle Classic, which was up in Denton. Um, we ended up winning that and, and winning all the captions at that contest. The next week we did the Wiley Marching Invitational. Uh, ended up winning 5A at that and we're second overall, so another really good week for that. Um, and then they had a week off and then the following week we had UIL Regionals, which we go, uh, we went over to Little Elm, performed in the UIL Regional Marching Contest. First Division, which means that you get passed on uh, to the uh, area competition, which is this weekend uh, up in Melissa. Or at this region, uh, or at this area, end up being advanced to the state marching contest after that. Band is a big time commitment, but since we have morning rehearsals and not after school rehearsals, I'm able to do my homework and I'm able to take care of things at home that I need to. Like I said before, we started uh, in July, you know, we have students that have never done this before, um, but the group just really quickly comes together. We had a couple um, sayings we sort of started the year out with to, to make the year go right, and we've kept focus on those and had great performance after great performance and now had some really successful contests. Um, and we, we are the best version of us that we've ever been. And we're ready to go on uh, tomorrow to our area show and, and hope the judges like it, uh, but we have to do our show. And uh, we're excited to see where it goes, but we wanna make sure that when we finish tomorrow, it's the best show of the season. Um, and we for sure leave this season, whether it's tomorrow or whether it's after finals at the state marching contest, uh, we leave uh, this year's marching band in the best place it's ever been. The marching band has had a great season so far, and it looks like they are aiming for even greater heights as this year continues. This has been BJVS with Cy C and Jude A for Open Den News. Open Den News is also active on Twitter and Instagram at RHS Open Den. Make sure to check out our website at OpenDen.org for previous shows and newspaper stories. That's all for today, Lions. I'm Matthew Hyun. And I'm Noah Henderson. For Open Den News. Thanks for watching, and remember, Roar, Lions, Roar! Lions, roar.